50 minutes, court wrapped up for the day in the hot car death trial. Today, jurors heard from several Cobb County teachers at the daycare where 22-month-old Cooper Harris attended, and many saying Ross Harris appeared to be a loving father. Channel 2's Ross Cabot is live outside the Glennon County Courthouse with why this testimony was important for both sides. Ross? Well, Carol, the hurricane is still affecting the uh, Harris trial here in Brunswick. Uh, the uh, witnesses called by the prosecution have all been jumbled up because of travel plans and canceled court days. So as you mentioned, we are done for the day. And as you mentioned, much of the testimony revolved around that little apron daycare at the Home Depot headquarters where Ross would always bring Cooper uh, to spend the day while he was uh, working. Uh, Ross Harris was the one who most often dropped off Cooper. The folks at the uh, daycare testified. Leanna Harris, the mother, and Her Ross Harris's former wife would usually pick him up at the end of the day. And as you mentioned, the defense scored some points by portraying Ross Harris as a loving, engaged father. They showed pictures of him at various events with little Cooper at that daycare. Uh, the daycare worker said he was very gregarious and well-known among the staff here. They also said when Leanna Harris showed up at the daycare the day Cooper died, she looked frantic and confused. Police had said when she showed up at police headquarters, she appeared Unemotional. One of the weird things is one daycare worker said Ross Harris would always every day take pictures of his son at the daycare, but stopped about two weeks before Cooper died. I just thought it was kind of strange that he stopped. So I asked him, I said, um, you don't take pictures anymore. And he said, no, because he's getting older. That was kind of an odd exchange. And uh, another strange thing was... When Cooper died, Ross Harris apparently called the uh, daycare for six minutes, according to phone logs, but nobody can figure out who he was talking to. Testimony will resume again on a limited hurricane damage basis tomorrow morning. We're live outside the courthouse. Ross Cabot, Channel 2 Action News. And we are streaming every minute of the trial live on our special website, rossharristrial.com. We're going to bring into key moments starting on Channel 2 Action News at 4.